That's right, this movie is crowded as f Brian Singer is promising audiences a mutant smorgasbord and showing off his overstuffed does this really all go together menu via Twitter as if he was Paula Dean. Who the hell is everybody? Considering only a seasoned X-Men comic book reader knows, for everyone else, welcome to your Days of Future Past cheat sheet. Now of course, this guy stars because of the simple fact that everyone does know who he is. And rumors are indeed true that instead of Kitty Pride going into the future, it will be Wolverine going into the past because, well, Fox made a movie called First Class that took place in the past. And it did pretty well at the box office. So it turns out we're the dystopian future from the perspective of the 1970s. By the way, the original Days of Future Past comic came out in 1981, so it would be kind of a cool nod if Singer's flick featured a young Chris Claremont cameo. All right, let's do this. Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart are the film's other two big stars, playing star-crossed lovers, oh, I'm sorry, I mean activists, Magneto and Professor X. Likewise, Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy are playing their younger counterparts. McAvoy has reached the not-walking stage of Professor x but not the bald stage. Will the stress of having to remember the names of all his X-Men be the thing that does it? Interestingly, Nicholas Holt, a.k.a. Hank McCoy, a.k.a. Beast, is bald in the face. Set photos show him being able to turn his furry blue mutation on and off, which totally defeats the purpose of the mutation, but hey, maybe the producers don't want to duplicate Christopher Nolan's mistake of covering up their pretty boy actor's best asset. Holt's real-life ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lawrence returns his mystique, but no word of Rebecca Romaine will also return, even if just for another cameo. Come on, singer, she might not have an Oscar, but Romaine played a huge role in putting your first two X-Men movies on the map. From first class, Lucas Till also returns as Alex Summers, a.k.a. Havoc, but it looks like James Marsden won't be returning as his bro. Although, can you blame him? Singer let him be turned into a punching bag for the sake of hyping up Wolverine. I believe the song that plays in Cyclops' car next to is Bye Bye Bye. Then from the original X-Men movies, we'll see the return of Ellen Page's Kitty Pride, now with even less to do. Sean Ashmore as Bobby Drake, a.k.a. Iceman. Daniel Cudmore as Piotr Rasputin, a.k.a. Colossus. And Anna Paquin as Rogue, who, by the way, is now a lot more famous and has a lot more fans, thanks to HBO's True Blood. Suddenly, Paquin as a spunky southerner doesn't seem so ridiculous, which means she might finally make this role her own. And can we please come up with some way to give her her super strength already? But someone I doubt will ever be accepted in their role is Halle Berry as Aurora Monroe, a.k.a. Storm. You could almost hear the universal sigh of defeat when Swinger tweeted a pic of Berry in her costume. And it's a shame another talented actress can't get a shot at what should be a powerhouse female character. And who are the newbies? Well, as the headlines have already told you, Quicksilver will be appearing both here and in the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. While his Disney counterpart has yet to be cast, over at Fox, Pietro Maximoff will be played by Evan Peters. This mutant speedster is known for three things. His trademark white hair, his unusually close relationship with his sister the Scarlet Witch, and being Magneto's son. Is the movie going to go two for three, one for three, or zero for three? We'll also meet Clarice Ferguson, a.k.a. Blink, who's portrayed by Chinese movie star Fan Bingbing. Blink is one of the few mutants who can give Mystique a run for her money in the weirdly haunt department, and also plays off of everyone's love of elves after Lord of the Rings. She can teleport herself and others at will, as well as charge projectiles to teleport on impact. One of the most basic X-Men rules, you always need a teleporter. And with Alan Cummings not coming back as Nightcrawler, I guess Blink's our girl. Speaking of international movie stars, Francis Omar Sy is playing Bishop. Days of Future Past is the perfect storyline for Bishop as he's a time traveler from the future and was the lead character in the animated version of Days of Future Past. A mutant police officer, he comes from a future where mutants are branded with an M over their right eye, which Sai is indeed sporting in this promotional pic. As for his powers, Bishop can absorb energy and then discharge it at will, usually as blasts from his hands. If he doesn't discharge the energy, he becomes stronger and can heal. Ooh, look out, Wolverine, somebody's stealing your moves. Ad Encanto also joins the cast as Roberto da Costa, aka Sunspot, a Brazilian mutant who also absorbs energy, this time from the sun. When he's powered up, he can fly and fire solar blasts. But the coolest thing about him is how he kind of turns into a black hole on fire. But that might be too expensive for the special effects team. Sunspot debuted on the classic New Mutants team along with James Proudstar, aka Warpath, who will be played in Days of Future Past by Boo Boo Stewart. Sadly, Boo Boo is as Native American as Johnny Depp, but he does know martial arts. He'll need those skills as Warpath's mutant powers aren't particularly showy. He's more of a superhuman like Captain America. Sometimes he flies, but I wouldn't count on him flying before Rogue or Storm. That's a lot of mutants, right? 
Well, now that we know who they all are, we can play a fun new game. Who's going to die? Because when you go up against Sentinel, someone's got to die or else you're just a Percy Jackson movie. Oh wait, characters die in those movies. These Sentinels are built by Bolivar Trask, who will be played by Game of Thrones' Peter Dinklage. Here's hoping his dwarfism is ignored and not turned into some kind of impetus for creating giant Sentinel robots. So do you think Brian Singer can possibly do all these mutants justice? And is there anyone who you can't believe he left out? Write your own thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.